Good morning, everyone. Uh, I wanted to do a short video up, and I promise that this one will be short. I wanted to do another um, video up on my book, From Guns to Lipstick and Beyond. Just because the other one was so long, I wanted to do a short and to the point video this time. It maybe will be easier to watch for some people. This is my book, From Guns to Lipstick and Beyond. And this is the back of the book. It gives you detail uh, details on the book and hearing what it's about. And then, of course, the spine has the title and my name at the bottom. I just wanted to read this to you br real quick. Uh, the author, of course, is shown to the left and everything, which is, you know, right there, right there and everything. And uh, From Guns to Lipstick and Beyond is the author's first short story book. Most of these stories were written while the author was being homeschooled. Uh, each story stands alone, and they all bring forth an ending, which will make you stop and think. If you enjoy stories such as crime, fantasy, touching, and lesson learning, then this would be the book for you, featuring 12 titles that would take you on a journey from reality to out of this world. Now, the cost of this book is uh, $9, a plus at the lowest shipping, and like I said, this is at the lowest shipping, which means that you'll get it anywhere between 3 to 15 days. It just depends. Um, Lulu is based out of North Carolina, where I, uh, Lulu is what I go through, based out of North Carolina. So really, I think it just depends on where you live to how long it, it's actually going to take to get there. I know it didn't take long at all for me to get mine, but uh, with the $3.99 being the lowest shipping, plus the $9, that's $12.99. Now, this is only out in paperback. I don't know if I'm going to actually do a hardback or not. Times are so hard right now for people and they can't afford to do an awful lot that I just don't want to put the price up any higher than I have to. So that's why I'm doing this, so that I'm getting, you know, enough of a revenue to try to help me to make something but also, you know, keep it low enough that people can actually afford it. So, I think right now I'm just going to stick with the paperback. Uh, it's 132 pages. Uh, this book was actually, I actually started working on this on the 3rd of May. Uh, and since, like I said, the pieces are older pieces, you know, pieces from homeschool and that. And then um, on the inside of the book when I do the preface, I make sure to let you know about the other stories. It says, the idea for this book came about when I decided it was time for another storybook. My novella, Sarah's Journey, came out back in 2006. This is my first short storybook, and I have enjoyed putting it together. All of the pieces featured, except for, like Mother, Like Daughter, A Soldier's Decision, Magic, and A Better World, were written while I was being homeschooled. A Better World was used for an assignment in my 8th grade English class. And uh, it was fun getting to think like a teenager again and also getting the opportunity to share these stories with my editors. I hope you enjoy these stories as much as I enjoyed writing them. So uh, pretty much all the stories were older stories that I put together. Uh, I had to type them up and, and like I said, when I was a teenager at the time, there were a lot of, you know, um, words that um, and things that needed to be taken out, stories that needed to be tweaked a little bit. And... Um, a lot of like semicolons and of course I'm the queen of run on sentences and stuff like that so it was um, a fun uh, time trying to edit them and getting help from my editors and everything to get things all set up but this book process putting together started on the 3rd of May and then uh, the book was actually published on the 31st and I received my copy on the 6th here of June um, and uh, we've been going from there now since trying to uh, go from, you know, website to website to put information out there, and I'm going to be getting it put in the local paper here pretty soon, and I'm going to try to hit other newspapers this time. That's one of the things that I never did with any of my other books. I never put it in any of the other newspapers, and I really want to try to strive to do that this time. I want to really try to get it out there as much as I can, and uh, also push for my other books as well to get them noticed. Um, I'll put the link below to where you can find them, uh, all my books, and plus this one. I'm not, I probably should post the direct link, that way you could just go in and you could say, okay, here it is, you know, but I, I like putting my storefront there, that way you can look at the other books, because maybe you'll find another book that you're interested in while you're at it. Uh, you, uh, the website is www.lulu.com backslash Hazel Eyes Tiffany, and that's T-I-F-F-A-N-Y. Um... And as a side note, you know, if anybody ever wonders why when I do that out, why I spell my name is because I know Tiffany can be spelled, you know, like with an I at the end of that. I've seen different spellings of it. But I wanted to tell you something that I didn't tell you in the other video, and I don't know why I didn't think about it. 
I always do a thing with my books. If you want a signed copy and you're not like within the local area here where I could go to you or you could come to me and everything with the book and say, no, here, could you sign this for me? Because I've never done an actual book signing anywhere before. But if you want a signed copy and you're from afar, get in contact with me and I'll give you my address. And what I do is, uh, I also, I'm actually doing this for a friend right now who doesn't feel comfortable using her credit card online, so she's sending me a check through the mail, and uh, that's what really prompted for me to get the information that I uh, got here, but uh, she sent me a check, you know, in the mail, and then I'll go through and I'll order the book for her, and um, I'll, the book will come to me, I'll sign it, and then I'll send it out to her. And... Um, I've done this before with people and it works really good. I'm a very trustworthy person, I promise that. And uh, there's never been any qualms with this, there's never been any issues. I obviously will handle the books with care and I handle other people's money with care to make sure that you know it gets where it needs to be. So the actual cost, like I said, overall with the shipping is $12.99 for the cheapest shipping and I always go with the cheapest shipping because uh, it's definitely worth the wait. If you want to do it where I order the book for you and then mail you a copy, you can send me, you know, a, a check or a cashier's check, um, money order. I don't know what they're called now. Here they changed it over. It's not a money order anymore. It's a cashier's check. Whatever it is for you, you can send that to me. Um, the cost for me to ship it to you on top of the twelve ninety nine would be two dollars and ninety two cents. And um, of course, that with the twelve ninety nine figured it as fifteen ninety one, so it'll be fifteen ninety one overall if you choose to do that. And like I said, um, and, and I mean, if you want to order the book yourself and then mail the book to me, and then I can mail the book back, I can even do that if that's more convenient for you. I mean, obviously, then um, you're going to be paying them to ship it to me, and then I'm going to be paying to ship it back to you and everything. But I would need you to send me the money because obviously I'm not within means to be able to uh, do anything financially like that. But I mean, if you send me the money, like I said, I am very, you know, prompt about it. Like as soon as I get the book, I'll sign the book, I'll put it in the thing, and I'll mail it out, you know, the same day as soon as I get it. So there's no issue there. So um, again, you know, it's nine dollars for the book plus the lowest shipping cost is three ninety nine, which is equivalent to twelve ninety nine. If you want a signed copy. You can um, mail your check, your uh, money order, cashier's check, whatever it is, everything to me, and I will turn around. And um, you could even do it where if you want to get my address, like if you want to order it yourself with your credit card, and you say, okay, I want to have it shipped to you. So that way, when the book comes, it'll come right to me. And that way, uh, I'll if I if we do this though, I would really appreciate it if you would get in contact with me. I'll put my contact information below because. I don't want the book just showing up and everything. I'm going to need to know, you know, who it's for and the information and that. But you could have it shipped to me, and then I'll ship it out that way if that is more, uh, that's better for you, whatever everything. That way you, I'm not actually handling your money except for to ship it. You would have to send me, you know, like a separate um, letter or something in the mail to send the money for me to ship it, the 292 and everything. So, you know, however it works, but it's 1591 overall uh, for anybody that wants a signed copy. And um, like I said, it's uh, it, it's really nice, and um, I used a size. I know I'm, the lighting is never good in this house. I used a size 14 font, so you can read it. My grandfather actually opened it up, and he looked at it, and he said, "Oh, she used big letters. I can read this." So I mean, it, it's it's easy reading. Uh, it shouldn't take you. You could probably read this in a. Well, I know you could read this in a day. Uh, Sarah's Journey was the same way, and it's it's big letterings. I use 20 font, you know, for the uh, title pages and everything. So it's very it's very easy to see, um, and everything just really flows really nice and everything. I've got it all you know done out so you can find. I don't know if I can get that so you can see or not. You can barely see that. If you go to uh, I, I said this before my page and you click on the book. When the page comes up where you can order it from, click preview underneath, and then you'll get a preview to the first couple pages. I set it to either the first 10 or 15 pages and everything, but it won't go like 1, 2, 3, 4 and everything. I set it so you can see specific ones so you don't have to sit there and go through all this. I want to get to the point. Uh, this book is uh, dedicated to my great uncle Leo. Uh, he was an amazing man and is truly missed. He passed away here um, a few months ago. and. 
when I put this in the paper, um, well, I don't think they include that. But what I'll do is when I put it into the library, I'll get a copy eventually and put it into the library, and it'll be put in there in Uncle Leo's memory. Every time I put a book in the library, it's always in somebody's memory. So I still have to cover my Aunt Helen, though. Somehow I missed her along the way, so when I get another book out, I have to put that in her memory. Um, but uh, also to all of you who love a good short story, may the imagination of youth never leave us as we age, and may we find an escape in books when no other possible form of escape from the world is within reach. And to all of my editors, Kayla Post, Helen Greer, and Bambi Cole, thank you all for your great work and for taking the time out to help me. I will forever be in debt to all of you. I hope you know how blessed I feel to have you in my life. May God bless you always. An extra thank you again to Bambi Cole. You, my friend, not only went above and beyond on the editing for this book, but also named it in one of the stories. What a godsend and blessing you are. And she's going to get sick and tired of hearing that after a while, but I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm really proud. Um, but again, you know, this is the cover, and I know I went through this before, but for anybody that didn't see it before, it's very special. You know, the guns are my grandfather's, and the lipstick that I used was my sister. She didn't want it anymore, so, you know, I cleaned it off, whatever, and everything used it. I don't believe in makeup for beauty, but, yeah, it, it was quite the experience. And the cross is my uh, grandmother's. Uh, it's been because my grandparents were in an accident two, uh, in th back in 2009. They were hit head on by a semi and it bent the cross and there's a whole story there which I did in my other video and I said I wasn't going to make this too long so I'm going to try to cut it short here but again you know I just I'm really hoping I've had uh, two people buy from me so far and um, I know that Bambi was one of them. I don't know who the second person is. You don't have to come forth if you don't want to but there's only been two buys so far and then when my friend gets, I get her check and that and everything, that'll make, um, that'll make three. I, I, I'm openly disappointed because there's certain people that normally buy from me that aren't buying. But then I can understand it, you know, because like anything that you do, I'm not able to support you at this time because I have no financial means. So I can kind of understand that. And, you know, you can't ex come out and expect all these people to just continuously buy your books there and you're going to buy what you want and everything and what you're interested in and I don't care whose name's slapped on that you're obviously not going to I mean if you want to support them that's fine but it's not like it's an obligation and everything but it's hard you know it's hard to understand why these people aren't buying it's hard to understand why my own family won't buy from me uh, there's a lot of people that um, and I wasn't, wasn't really going to address this but it's something that really bothers me when your family will say you know well it's hard and everything and I've heard it's a slow process and stick it out and then they don't buy a copy from me and it's like well you're the reason why I'm not getting anywhere you're the reason why I'm not making sales because it's ones like you that don't buy that you know you dip me out of that sale and it's just it's really hard to understand how your family can treat you that way but you know it's my family and you just gotta you gotta roll with the punches and everything but uh anyway so I'm gonna cut this now and everything and I just wanna say thank you for everybody that stuck around with me I mean I never thought I was ever going to get this far. I'd always wanted to do this, and I know it's self-publishing, but it's still a big deal. It takes an awful lot of work and everything, and it's it's just it's me. It's me wrapped in all these. You know, I just I put so much time and energy into this. You know, the the book covers the 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 the, the meat of the book and everything, just everything, the editing, all that. I mean, it's just it's just it's such a process. And uh, back in 2006, when um, you know, obviously, uh, Hazel Eye Smell came out first, and then Sarah's Journey. It just, uh, I just never knew it would turn into something like this. I mean, this is my fifth book, and I never ever thought that I would be able to say that. And it's just, uh, it, it means an awful lot. It's really awesome, and I just, I want to thank my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, for uh, giving me this gift and, and blessing me with this. And um, I just, as I always say, I just encourage others to find what your talent is, find what you find what you do, find what makes you happy, find what you're good at and everything which you can share with others and just own it and um, just make the most of it and uh, just continue to shine, shine and everything and out, um, not technically outdo, but just outshine the haters, you know, anybody that's hating on you, anybody that's making you feel less than yourself and everything, just continue to do what you do and um, just continue to make just whatever makes you happy just continue to stick with that because that's all that matters life's too short to to uh, deal with all the, the junk in the world there's just way too much junk in the world so but anyway I love you guys and um, you know thanks again and uh, God bless you 
and um, 